Okay, so you've booked onto a Mank Toot Cow trek, and now you're gonna to need to know what to pack inside your bag and what kit you're gonna need for the trip. So our Toot Cow trips are a standard four day trek. So some Toot Cow treks are a two day trek, ours are a four day trek. So we need to pack a little bit more kit than what you would normally do on the standard two day one. So you can download our kit list from underneath this video, or if you've already booked a trip with us, then you'll have already been sent this kit list, which has all of the essential stuff you need, as well as some of the recommended stuff as well. So what I'm gonna do is just go through the essential stuff at the minute, and then you can decide what extra stuff you need in there at another time. So all of the kit is carried by mules on the Toop Cow Trek. So you're only gonna carry your day pack you're not gonna to need to carry your duffel bag with you or most of the kit. So most of that's gonna be carried as well. So if we start looking at what we're gonna need, the first thing is we're gonna be sleeping in guest houses, Berber lodges and the lodge. So, or the refuge, sorry. So we're gonna to need to have our sleeping bag with us. Now you don't need an overly thick sleeping bag for this trip because actually like when you're in the refuge, you think I'm gonna be high, but you're all in together in one room and it does get quite warm. So either you want a sleeping bag that you can open right up just to kind of cool down sometimes because don't think you're gonna need a super warm sleeping bag on two count. So that's gonna go into the duffel bag. I'm using a medium um, North Face duffel bag and I can get everything that I need to in for a trip to Tupcal into that bag for, for this one. Other things gonna be boots. Now it's gonna depend really what time of year you're going on a, on a standard Tupcal trek to what boots you're gonna need. Now, if there's chance of no snow, then I'm gonna opt for something like this, a much lighter, lighter wear pair of boots, more bendy. I don't need to put a cramp on on them so I can get away with a boot like this. If there's a chance that there's gonna be any snow at the top and I'm gonna to need to put crampons on, then I'm gonna to wanna to go from a more of a B2 boot like this, that I can actually clip the crampon onto the back. You don't need to take crampons with you. We can hire those when we get to the refuge and they will pretty much go on to any boot. Um, so you don't have to have a B2 style boot. So a basic trekking boot will be perfectly good normally for, for a, a, a normal two cow trip, not a winter trip. Clothing wise, like I say, you're trekking for four days. Lower down, you're probably gonna be in shorts and t-shirts. Obviously you want a wicking t-shirt, something like this rather than a cotton t-shirt. Um, so I would have four of those in with me, a thick pair of trekking trousers, a thin pair of trekking trousers, and then a pair of shorts as well. So that's what I would have for my, for my trip. So here I've got my thin trekking trousers and I've got uh, a wicking top. That's what I'm gonna wear onto the trek. And then in this bag here, and I've packed everything in packing cubes so I can find everything really easily. I haven't got to pull everything out. I've only got to pull a couple of pouches out my bag to find everything. I've got a thicker pair of trekking trousers for summit night. I've got a pair of shorts, and then I've got um, some more um, wicking t-shirts as well in here. With it only being four days, I can have clean underwear and clean socks for every day. And again, I've got different thicknesses of socks because Obviously on summit night, I'm gonna want thicker ones than I am when it's warmer down, lower down. So I've got varying thicknesses of, of hiking socks here to make sure my feet aren't gonna get too warm. In this one, I've got my layering system. So I've got a fleece in here and I've got a dang gilet. So this is what I'll add to me or take off from me as I'm, as I'm going up and need to warm up or need to cool down. So that's what I'll have in there. In this one, I've got my warm hat, I've got a couple of buffs, and I've got a pair of gloves as well. So that's more really for summit night. I'll wear the buffs lower down. Um, it can get quite dusty, uh, and also it can get quite hot as well. So actually having a buff, getting it soaking wet and then putting it around your neck can really cool you down when you're lower down on, on the Toot Cow Trek. Waterproofs, I've got my waterproof jacket and I've got my waterproof trousers. My waterproof jacket needs to be able to go over all of my layers. Um, so I need to have that ready for summit night so I can have all of my clothes on. And then if I need to, put my waterproof jacket over the top as well. I then, they're gonna go in my, I'm gonna carry those with me in my day pack rather than putting them into that one. 
I've then got my insulated jacket as well. Now this could be a synthetic or a down jacket. Um, I use a synthetic one. It's not overly thick. With my layering system in place, it keeps me nice and warm, um, but I don't need to carry a big, thick, heavy down jacket by using the layering system. So I just use a thin synthetic jacket, and if this gets wet, it can dry out, and it dries out quite quickly compared to a, a down jacket. Again, I'm gonna carry that one in my day pack because when we stop for lunch or when we stop for a break, if it gets a little bit chilly, then I can just put that over the top really quickly out of my bag and find it. First aid kit, obviously aspirin, ibuprofen, paracetamol, diorolite, uh, amodium, blister plasters, the standard things that you're gonna to need to carry. All of the stuff you need is in the kit list, obviously, plus any personal uh, medication you're gonna need as well. So think about what you're gonna have in your first aid kit, and that's gonna to need to go in my day pack that's carried with me all the time, just in case I need something. Head torch and spare batteries. You're gonna be starting the toop cow climb early in the morning, three, four o'clock, we're gonna be up getting ready to go for the summit. So you are gonna be walking with the head torch for quite a few hours before the sun comes up. So you wanna make sure you've got fully charged or fresh batteries ready for the summit night climb. This head torch, I can charge my battery pack. Um, so I'll, I'll just make sure I charge it the night before, before we actually start the, the summit climb. So both of those are gonna go in. Travel towel, there are gonna be opportunities for you to have a shower on the way up. There are showers at every stop, um, so you can have a shower whenever you want to on the trek. Um, so take a towel with you. Obviously, peaked hat for when we're trekking during the day. Lower down the mountain, it is gonna be super hot. You are gonna need a good pair of sunglasses, full wraparound cover to make sure no light's coming in. Um, but you're probably gonna be wearing your hat more than you're wearing your warm hat. So a good peaked hat as well, and that's gonna come with me on the um, in my day pack ready. I've got my travel pillow, which always comes with me. That's nice and important for having a good night's sleep when we are in the refuge and when we're in the Berber house, etc. This one is um, just a Exped stowaway small duffel. I use this one just for my dirty washing to keep everything um, cleaning. And a little tip for this one is if you get a few of the um, tumble dryer sheets, you can leave a couple of them in there and as you put your dirty washing in, it still smells nice and doesn't stink your bag out of, um, of your dirty laundry. So that's just a little tip for that one. Water. We've got several options for water. Either you can go for the, the classic Nalgene bottle. We can get bottled water while we're on the climb. Um, personally, I would rather save from the single-use plastic bottle water and go for a water-to-go bottle with the filtering. It then means like when you're there, you're, you're following a river up all the way pretty much on the Toop Cow climb. So you can always, when you need water, fill it up and then the filter will purify it. You don't need to carry two litres with you. You can just carry 75, 750 mil, um, drink it, and then fill the water bottle up as you go during the trek. So my option would be save the single-use plastic and get yourself one or two water-to-go bottles as well. Obviously, some people like the hydration pack that goes inside the rucksack. It's entirely up to you. Personally, I don't overly like them because you can never see how much water you have drank. I would much prefer for you to have that in the side of your bag, pull it out, have a drink and you kind of know that you've drank half a bottle of water already. When you're just sipping out of one of these, you never really know how much you have had. Final thing then is going to be your day pack, which is going to be carried on your bag or uh, carry on your back at all times. I always take a rucksack liner that I put into the day bag, keep everything dry that's inside. Um, this one's a 35 to 45 litre. You could get away with a 25 litre, but things might be a bit tight by the time we've got all this stuff in there. So I always would rather have a little bit more space and I can actually get everything in there that I need to get in. So this is what I would prefer to take with me, is one like this. Snacks wise, you get loads of snacks, you get fed really well on a, on a toop cow trek by the cooks, but you have got the opportunity to buy snacks as you go when you get to Imlil, when you get to the refuge, you can buy extra stuff to supplement your climb if you need to. Um, or you could take nuts and stuff from Marrakesh um, and, and do it that way. So you have got the opportunity to, to get as much snacks as you like. You don't really need to bring it from the UK unless you want to. So if you've got any questions on anything regarding Mount Tukal, please don't hesitate to contact the office. 
and we'll be more than happy to help. But hope you've enjoyed this video and have a great tube cow climb. Thanks a lot.